Hello and welcome to Nerdarchy. For nerds, by nerds, I'm Nerdarchist Dave, and today I'm joined by all these fine nerds. Uh, we have Brian Colon behind the GM screen tonight, Stephen Partridge, uh, Carlos Rivera, and of course, Robin R. Miller, all in the house. There are links to all of them in the uh, description below, but in addition to that, you're going to find a link to a upcoming Kickstarter for the follow page if you want to get a stack of Vastrim books. It is a stack, right, Brian? It is. There are three three new small 48-page books and a patch program if you're into like looking fancy with all sorts of badass patches. Bring him, bring him back the denim jacket. That's right. So uh, you can check all those things out. Tonight we're going to play some Vast Grimm. Uh, we did a one-shot a while back uh, when you were having your Wormfest convention, online convention. Which was super cool, where we like we all met up in a in a spaceship and uh, did con things virtually. But then we also met up in that same spaceship and ran the one shot there. And we decided to continue that one shot, and we're gonna do a little mini series here. So we're gonna do three more sessions for the next three weeks. So we'll see how many characters we can go through in that time period. With that, I'm just gonna throw it to you, our GM, Brian. Awesome. Well, if you did not catch the previous episode, do not worry. You'll be able to dive in and we'll give a quick little recap as well. And for anyone that is not familiar with the Vascrim game or setting, the rules are very light. You'll be able to learn them as we play. It's very simple D20 based system, but uh, in the setting itself, it was 663 years ago that all of a sudden these worms, the, these small parasites were unleashed from this the sacred mausoleum when the six went there and used these magical tributes to, to open the doors. And when they became infected, they went around and then started infecting the universe. And then what's left of humanity is not much. The, the people here that are playing tonight, they're part of what's called, a, what's known as a legion. They've been together for at least a, a few months. They, they recently discovered this strange giant container, this metal massive beast of a ship uh, almost like a shipping container that came popped out of the bitter void. And when it came up on their radar, they knew that if they don't get to it, somebody else is going to. So there may be something of value on it. Uh, when they were there, they were traveling aboard their, their space bus that's known as the Galactic Intervention. Um, and when, when, they, when they boarded this, the, uh, this thing that was easily four times the size of their starship, um, they quickly discovered after... Uh, Cyrus decided it would be a good idea to hack into the system's computer and unlock all the doors on the on this barge. Um, that they there were indeed prisoners on there that ended up they they ended up battling some strange creatures, some 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 humans who had been experimented on, and eventually this this doctor who had some strange mutations from doing experiments on these creatures and on herself. Uh, by the end of their 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 time aboard this vessel. Uh, they managed killing everybody except for one of the NPCs, including the, the creatures. They discovered a few things. And uh, at the end of it, they, they scoured it, found some things that they could add to their inventory. And right at the very end, they heard this strange mechanical movement from the far end of the ship, where they had seen what looked like a freight elevator, but there was no actual other layers to this big brick of a container. And then it went boop, boop, and they could see on their sensors an elevator moving down one floor to the floor that they're on. It's a new day. All their hit points are restored. They're, they have their favors back. As we play, you'll see them often roll favors because or use favors to save their ass. Um, but it is also a new day. And so far, there have been two torments that have happened. And as... Anybody that is familiar with the game knows that when seven torments occur, these strange prophecies that are destined to happen, the universe is coming to an end. Humanity will be consumed and there will be nothing left. Everyone will die and be consumed by the Grim. So when we played the previous time, two times, right? We, we realized, or one time we realized that we wanted things near the end and that it was just going to be a D2 to see who wins and, or whether or not a torment occurs. Um, so let's see, I think, uh, I'm just going to go when asking for random roles, I'm going to go in the order that I see people in. And oh, also for anybody that's watching, we're also using the, the role platform, uh, 
playroll.com. Uh, so if you see us in this, see any weird sliding movement, see character sheets or anything, if Dave's looking at his character, um, that's the platform that we're in. Um, so Dave, you're up top in my window. Will you roll a D2 and let me know if you get? I feel like you just want a bad roll. Uh, of course I want a bad roll. So you just went to me? I, uh, how could it be bad? It's a D2. Right. Well, that's <laughs> true. Uh, that would be a one. That Come would on. be a one? All right. Well, as as it's on a one that a torment does occur, this is the third torment that's happening in the universe that you're playing in. So let's see. Uh, Carlos, will you roll a D6? And Ted, will you roll a D6? And then the sure. prophecy will... We will hear the prophecy of the day. Prophecy starts with number three. Number three? I, number three again. Okay. Ted, you are muted. Uh, so I rolled a, I rolled a, a, a six because it's a base symbol. Excellent. So torment three six and smoke will fill the air, coagulating into thick marbled ribbons of gray and black. Now, whether this happens where you are right now, whether it happens somewhere else in the universe, all of a sudden, even though you've had very little communication, the network has been down, all of a sudden your techno tablets, if you have them, you see beep, 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 and you see that message scrawling across. You hear strange audio coming across in this container, repeating it, repeating what I just said in a very animatronic voice as they repeat that this torment has just come to pass. And now there's only four more torments before the universe comes to an end. Um, you just heard this elevator starting to move. Um, actually, before we jump into what you're doing, uh, Dave, will you tell the people watching who Torch is or, or what uh, they might know about Torch? All right. So uh, what you might know about Torch is uh, Torch uh, Lard Trambo Mall Zen. Uh, is a lost technomancer and he can often be seen uh, accompanied by his Borg bat, which is basically a, a small cybernetic winged rat that is his trusty companion and it likes to travel with. Uh, you know, and also the thing the thing you got to know about Torch, right, is oftentimes you smell Torch before you see him because he has got the worst breath. It's so vile. It's, it's, he has a condition called grave mouth, and it just reeks of death. We uh, were hermetically cleaned yesterday, weren't we? Yeah, but yes. some things you just can't clean. Some things okay. you just can't clean. <laughs> uh, he can be a little. Uh, he can be a little reckless at times too, as as we as we probably saw during the last session. Excellent, Carlos. What about Jacob? Well. <laughs> Jacob Banks is one of the toughest little SOBs you've ever seen in your life, or so he believes. And uh, he's one of the finest pilots you'll find. He's a bit on edge, but who isn't these days, you know? And uh, he's in it for survival. Okay, very good. And uh, Ted, what about Era? So uh, Era is viewed by all as puny and weak. Uh, frequently overlooked uh, as, you know, he does not in any way, shape, or form present something that would look like a threat. Uh, he's got a number of scars. The most telling is uh, he's missing an ear that was lost in a bet. At least that's what he tells people. Uh, you know, when we get into combat, I, you know, he tends to be, tends to be brutal outside of combat, very, very easily distracted and, has like uh, a memory like a sieve. Excellent. And uh, Stephen, what about Cyrus? Uh, so Cyrus Greeter, uh, he they, is a tall, lanky individual who wears lots of black and has like this black hair that's like stringy and comes down, right? And uh, they wear a lot of, they have a lot of like cyber augmentations because they're a lost technomaniac. So they're really good at tech, but also they treat it sort of like how some of the more extreme people in the punk or rock scene would view like tattoos or piercings. So just like everywhere, augmentations. He's also made his own social media platform, which he has automatically signed everyone up for and is trying to get off the ground. 
Excellent. And Robin, what about Bert? Uh, Bert, he, it, is an emo bot. Uh, you know, just cybernetic and, man, I just feel things and I'm depressed. As you should, as you should. Well, very good. Well, so this is the, your legion. You, you're well rested, but you did, like I mentioned just a, a few minutes ago, start hearing at the far end of the ship, like the western end of this strange barge, you started to hear movement uh, and showing up on the sensors that that a an elevator is working its way down to the floor that you are on. So yeah, immediately as soon as I um, hear it, I, I hold on my pistol. I'm just like moving towards the elevator, kind of like cautious that um, see if anything's around operating it. I'll uh, I ratchet my shotgun. Did uh do do one do do one of you guys order a pizza? Oh no, I wish though. Like uh oh hold on, hold on. I got a notification. As that's happening, my stomach just you can hear me growl. <laughs> <laughs> the most like gnarliest growl you can hear. Man, make me think about food at a time like this. <sighs> I mean I didn't order the pizza. But, oh, never mind. I can't eat it anyway. It's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> That's so depressing. <laughs> that was awesome. As, uh, as you're getting towards the hall, you see it uh, at the far end because it's the main corridor going down. You, you see where it looked like that whole freight elevator was like kind of out of service. You just see it light up and it just like a big green circle and there is what looks like arrows now pointed up on the door itself like going ding 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 and just repeating over and over again like like a movement to to the up somewhere up above i don't like this mm. yeah it can't be good i want to i want to like go to the um to the side of the door to try and get some cover mhm mm and I'm gonna send my Borg bat. I wanna send my Borg bat up into the like the top corner so he can kind of like peek around around and I can pull it up on a screen and kind of look through his eyes. So the door the, the door to the elevator has not opened at all yet okay. without anything being pushed, unless unless you wanna do something to try and uh, tap into the system further away than going up to where the actual like panel by that by the elevator is. Well, that's fine. I'll just I'll have him outside the door, getting ready to peek in. Excellent. As you're standing there waiting, a minute goes by. The lights on the door just keep showing, like the the ascending up arrows, like over and over again. It just kind of loops around, like lighting up, lighting up, lighting up. I didn't even think there was any other floors to this jalopy. Uh, I mean, well, I there's... suppose you learn something new every day. What if it's more bugs? What if it's more of the worms? It's always mm. the worms. Why don't you? Why don't you see? What I you... know. Why don't you ask? Why don't you ask the computer and see what you can find out, Cyrus? Oh, good idea. You should and uh... get in that computer like a virus. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he'll look and see if he can pull up like a security camera or something to see if there is any sort of info about what's in the elevator. Um, as you are doing that role, a presence test, you've already hacked into the system. So the normal DR is gonna be a 12. This will be a, a DR 10 since you've already managed to get in and out of the system pretty easily. Okay, well, I got a 10 and I have a plus one. Excellent, so that, that makes it, as you're going in, you're not seeing any security camera inside the elevator itself, but now you're seeing what looks like um, there is now another layer to this, to this container. It looks like there is another level above. It is giving you strange alien language that's coming across that you can't seem to quite decipher as to what it is, but you do see that there is a way to go up if you were to get in this in this elevator and go to another floor. Hmm. Uh, okay, I will relay that information to the party. 
Um, also, they're asking for volume to be turned up by about 20%. In chat. Um, I think yeah, it's for Ted chat. specifically. I turned the overall volume up, but I can't do anything on Ted's end. Okay. Um, so, but yeah, so Cyrus will share about the information and uh, pull out uh, his gummy stick. Uh, because that is what uh, he's been using to smash insects and things. Excellent. What I'll do before we go into anything is um, I'm going to turn to Cyrus and be like, I feel like you'll get better use out of this than I do, than I will, and um, give him the tiny drone. <laughs> um, long story short, it's a battery-operated battery drone that transmits a signal back to whatever personal comm pad you're using it has two charges. Ah, it comes with solar charger as well, according to this book. <laughs> okay. I think it's it's going to be two charges per use. So the battery's going to have 24. So every time you want to use it, it's going to you're just going to have to knock two two charges off that battery. So are, are we going are we going up the elevator? Yeah. <laughs> Is anyone here not curious about what's up that shaft? Because I am. Yeah. I have six rounds here full of multiple curiosity as also, I start climbing. <laughs> if we don't well, go I, up, something might come down. Well, this is this is ours now. We gotta we gotta make sure it stays ours. Skippy. So, does somebody push, like, touch on the, the, the panel by the door to open up the, have the, have the doors to the elevator open up? Yeah, I'll go over and push it. I'll yeah. cover him. As you... <laughs> the door opens up inside the freight elevator. It's battered and scarred. Um, it just looks like this something in here has just completely, like, left claw marks and blaster marks. This... This freight elevator has seen more than just hauling materials, for sure. Um, inside, there is a separate panel than what was outside on the door. Um, it basically has an up or a down arrow and the uh, up or a down button. And it looks like the where the, the glass was, where the down one is completely cracked. And you can only like kind of see the, the down arrow. But uh, that does not seem to be functioning at the moment. I'm going to go over to... Uh... Like the, the claw marks or slash marks. Try to see if there's any way to gauge how big something's got to be to, you know, do that kind of clawing. Okay. Um, as you're you're kind of looking over and looking at it and kind of like gliding your fingers by it, it's definitely why each marking is easily like probably three times the width of like your index finger as you're kind of gliding through it and most of them are probably about like torso height where the claw marks are. Whatever did this is pretty effing big. Just uh, saying. Do you well, think it's like one of those mutants? Maybe, maybe all these squirts and blast marks took care of it. <laughs> or it didn't. Or, you know, it breathes fire and shoots lasers. Got its eyes. That's more likely. Probably. I use my bang stick to shoot to push the up button. Excellent. Uh, as you you push it, the doors and it just kind of slowly, like laboriously, working its way up to the next floor. And as it gets there, the doors open up and. Though the inside of the elevator was seemed very rickety and, and beaten up, it opens to a hall. Um, oops. That uh, that is very clean, very sterile, and it smells almost like like rubbing alcohol. Uh, you can see pretty far down the hall if you see on the shared screen. Um, you see that that it goes on, and that there are there's uh, doors doors almost immediately like ten feet out to the right and to the left of you, and the corridor continues to go down. Um, 
that it's cold and, and lifeless. Uh, and it just kind of almost, you don't really hear anything. It doesn't really, just feels empty. Oh, I don't like this. It is rather mm. unpleasant. Uh, Let's go. Wow, I'm just going to slowly make my approach. Okay. Very, very cautiously. As you cautiously walk your way down, are you going to pass by the two doors that are on either side and keep going? Are you going to, what, what are you going to do? So as I approach these doors, um, mm -hmm. I am, as a paranoid psychopath would, just, just like almost like slow motion, make my way through. Okay. As you're, as you're starting to go, like slowly go past them, you see, like, even though it doesn't look like it when you first are first glancing at the door, but as you start to catch it from a different angle, you see that there, there's almost like a glass panel about it's a little smaller than a head size. That's a window into the room that from just the right angle, you can kind of see in. Um, but you almost have to be directly up on it to, to look inside. You're going to make me put my face in front of the glass, aren't you, Brian? <laughs> you you exactly do what whatever, I'm do. You think, whatever you think Jacob would do. Because <laughs> that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> As you go to kind of press your face up and kind of look inside, you see what looks like looks like a hospital room. You can see across the way, you can see, uh, I'm going to say that you went in the one on the left. Um, you can see what looks like four beds and each bed has someone in it. Um, let's see, uh, you rolled a d6. Uh, Steven uh, and uh, uh, let's see. Steven and Robin, will you each roll 2d4? Yes. 2d4. Don't add them together. Tell me what you get separately. Okay. Three and two. Three, two. Three and four. Three, two, three, four. Excellent. Thank you for that. You see, you see what, what looks, it looks like humans just kind of passed out, hooked up to machines. They look like they're on drips, um, just kind of on some sort of some sort of life sustaining uh, apparatuses. I turn to everyone and say, and just nod towards in there. Got some sad SOBs in there. Maybe medical supplies from how the room's looking. Huh. Does it look like uh, we're go. alive and does it look like they're being kept alive? Well, you remember the crazy little one we found downstairs? Yeah. Uh, I think we found one of the rooms he might be, uh, that we, we might have found a situation that he was in earlier. I see some people in there hooked in, and they ain't, they ain't looking so good. Hmm. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, should we? I just kind of drag my finger across my throat. Hmm. We could see if they're alive. Maybe. I, as you're saying that, just as you're saying, we uh, saying uh, we could see if they're alive. The door at the far end of the hall opens up, and out walks a uh, middle-aged, completely. Jet black hair, uh, slicked back, medical coat, uh, medical collar, uh, uh, gloves on, come with a clipboard. Oh, um, hello. Uh, we, we weren't expecting anyone here today. Um, where did he you come from? By for his uh, prostate exam. Oh, my. Yeah, I got some far back rear up there. If you can help, we can't get out. <laughs> Uh, well, all the beds on, on, on this right wing are, are full, but I'm certain we can probably take care of you in the other wing. I didn't even hear a shipboard. This, please, please, welcome. Are, are all of you, in, aside from, what, what did you say, Jacob? Jacob? J J Jacob. Jacob, um, is everyone else in, in okay uh, physical health? Uh, aside, aside from, of course, the, uh, the, the, the metal. 
the metal has a name and it's Bart. Uh, my apologies, uh, Bert. Uh, did not mean to uh, to be insensitive. Uh, it's just you know I, I'm I'm more about making sure that uh, the the living are cared for and and heal and are able to sustain what 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 sort of life there might be left in this universe. Do you uh do you uh you know some kind of doc? I does my outfit not say that? Of course, I'm I'm the lead doctor here on this ship. Oh. Not the woman from the other floor. What other floor? I'm just gonna like look at the others. Yeah. Uh, do we believe that this person is in earnest? I don't know. Do you? Um, <laughs> is there a check I can make to see? Uh, you can. You can make a presence check and let me know what you get, and I can. Okay. Kind of give wow. you whatever sort of feelings you want to get from it. So you don't know anything about that wild, crazy, psychotic cyber doctor? Wild, crazy. That was that controlling the all... ship. Has anyone? Has anyone sat and spoken with you lately? Uh, this is nothing that is uh, striking any sort of any bearing on on our vessel. Maybe That's I can give lot. you a refresher. And I'll walk over to him and put my bang stick to his knee. Oh, 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 please. He, as you walk over, he's, he's like backing up. Before you get to that, uh, Stephen, what did you roll? A 12. A 12. You seem like they're pretty confident and like they believe what they're saying. So. Okay. Um, then Cyrus, can I pull up a video feed and like play back what happened? I would imagine. Yeah, because you recorded that. Sure. Okay, yeah, so uh, Cyrus will uh, show their uh, arm augment and just pull up a hollow screen and start swiping through until they find the right, uh, the right uh, video feed and then enlarge it and just play it for the person, showing the moment that the doctor transformed and became a monster and then we fought. Okay. You, you sure that, it's that, not that, a that video was... on Cyrus's uh, space book? Oh, yes, oh, yes, it's, abs <laughs> it's absolutely on Cyrus' scape. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to take you a minute to pull up because you've made a lot of footage over the past like 48 hours um and and so torch had just come in with the the uh the bang stick at the knee what was ever uh what was everybody else doing well i was gonna go over and ask him about ears but uh you know with torch getting all up in his face that's uh a whole nother thing okay and what about bert and jacob um yeah, so uh, what I can say with complete confidence, Jacob was more or less playing to the role of someone that had it to uh, get something pulled out from you know where. Okay. And what about Bert? Uh, Bert did not understand the last couple of words that Jacob just said and needs him to repeat them, and I'm sorry. <laughs> There, there, there's something lash in between there. In the Are derriere. You sure? Yes, and I need the medical doctor's uh, attention and uh, um, um, expertise to help okay. me dislodge it. Ms. Horst, That's do you like mind it. if we borrow the medical technician? Oh, please, please. Borrowing would be much better than I do not need this, uh, this sort of violence. I'm a man of science. Please. Please, I can help your friend. Well, we just recently dismantled a woman of science. <laughs> that is some nasty oh. business there. But... Is, is, is that what's going on on that screen of yours? How, yeah. how, how uh, horrific. Psycho and like injected herself with some of this like neon chemical that turned her into that monster. And she was experimenting on people. Like, do you know anything about that? Oh my goodness. No, look. I have no marks of any sort of injections on my... I would never test on people. That's horrible. Mm. <laughs> you're, so, you're warm free, right? Oh, uh, most certainly. We do not want any worms around here. Do you have any iconography anywhere on him that's easily visible? Um, he has what looks like some sort of like medical symbols, like, uh, they, they just, you know, like, like it looks like it would be 
doctor, like some sort of military doctor grade uh, outfit. Okay. It's not familiar to you as to, to, to where it's from, but it uh, just, just through basic uh, thinking through things like that, it, it looks like that's probably the type of outfit he's got on. Hmm. So what are you doing here? If you don't know anything about what was going on down below. All of a sudden we just appeared in this extremely strange space. I mean, that's why I was coming here. I was on my way to make sure from the front of the ship, I was, I was on my way to make sure that uh, our patients are okay because we had this strange, like almost as though we were teleported or transported somewhere that is not on any of our star maps. Oh, was there like some uh, coagulating smoke involved, like ribbons of smoke? There certainly was. And they started actually coming out of our, out, it was in the main engineering. It started coming out of nowhere. It was not only that, but it was in front of the ship. As we looked out into space, everything got strange and gray and ribbony. And then we were here with a strange... It was also, it felt like a strange electrical jostle on, on the barge as well. Uh, I mean, it's the end of times. I don't think strange is a word that really gets to apply anymore. I guess everything is relative, isn't it? Are you saying yeah. we're related? Mm, not, not judging by your gene pool, no. What well, outfit uh, you run with? We are a traveling doc in the box. We are here to try and make sure people can live longer and better lives. Huh, like a, your friend Jacob, you right? Prosper, huh? I, I'm sorry, can you repeat yourself, please? You want to live long and prosper? <laughs> oh, well, of course. <laughs> Doesn't everyone? Uh you know, um, just out of curiosity, if you're here and you got transported here, were these supplies here before or did were these something you saw and you used to help save these people? Like, were they this, here? Oh, yes. Th this is certainly the ship that I've been on. Oh. So it transported like a whole part of the ship, guys. Oh, actually, hang on. Let, let me just look in the door and make sure. Yeah, I mean, yes, I mean... Can you not read these markings on the wall? And as he does that, he like he like moves a finger along and it just kind of lights up and all of a sudden now illuminated along the door, it says med bay. Oh. You didn't say that a moment ago, did it? No, it did not. I, guess I can access my temporal right. memory database and show you if you want, but I'm certain it was not there. Perhaps you just are not familiar with our 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 the way our ship is configured. I access my memory banks and like pull it up. Mm -hmm. You do not see it. Uh, I proceed to show the others. Huh. So, um, did, did your ship have a an elevator that went down or up or anything? Uh, we had an elevator that can that is for uh, leaving the ship because when 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 our large barge lands on on the surface of a planet, mm -hmm. for instance. Uh, some legs will come out and the elevator will go down to land on, to be able to leave the uh, I wanna, the ship. I want to take a step back and I'll go look at the elevator. Does the down, does the down button still look broken and mangled? Um, it does, but it's a little more illuminated now than it was before. Are the claw marks and blaster marks all the same? Or they, they seem are. a little bit more clean? No, no, they're they're the same. Ah. So, I'll I'll come back and unless unless somebody you know started something else, I'll ask like, uh, hey doc, if you've got and I just gesture all around all this current clean, why is your elevator like some kind of war zone? Oh well, it is the darndest thing. We were trying to help some people out on a planet, and this strange, massive bug-like creature made its way into the elevator. Luckily, the captain was well equipped to take care of things. As you may have noticed, there's blaster marks all over the place, but not before this creature did plenty of damage. 
I, I tell you what, it did not agree with everyone on board after we, we cooked it up, but it was better food than what some of the freeze-dried packs had been for quite some time. I'm sorry, you ate it? Well, I mean, after it was cooked, yes. Makes sense. Okay. Is that is that okay? Is that sanitary? Are they going to go nuts? Waste not. <laughs> no, uh, there were some... There were some digestive troubles for a week or two, but, you know, it was not the worst thing that the crew has eaten. What is Man. wrong with those folks in the bed? Speaking of digestive uh, issues, Doc, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, sure. Uh, they, they are having blood transfusions right now. They're on a slow drip to try and get things back into their system. Uh, but yes, yes, please. Uh, Jacob, uh, can can I take you down into the uh, the other med bay, and I would be more than happy to uh, take a look. Now, I don't know how friendly you are with your crewmates, um, but we could do this in private. They can come along. It's completely up to you. Sir, the amount of time we spent on our space bus, I don't think they haven't seen anything they've never seen before, okay? Fair enough. Please, everyone, enter into uh, into this med bay. Uh, thankfully, we have plenty of open beds. If anyone would like to lay down, I can take a look at you uh, after I'm done with Jacob here. Um, I uh, really need you guys to have my back on this one. <laughs> I'll come with you. <laughs> Just I will come with you and sit well. behind you. It's not like they can do anything to me. <laughs> Um, I'm going to check my notifications and, real quick. I'll be just out here. <laughs> um, and just so you know, Brian, I'm wanting uh -huh. to kind of sneak away and get a closer uh -huh. look at what's going on in that room with the bodies because I am suspect as soon as he talked about insects <laughs> and bugs, one of my character's traits is I think everything is a worm. So sure. I'm like on sudden like high alert. <laughs> Cyrus, I want to personally thank you for using this distraction to not go in vain. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Well, Cyrus, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with you in just a minute. Is everyone else going into the room with Jacob then? Yes. Uh, um, Jacob puts his uh, pistol down right in front of him, uh -huh. wherever the doc needs him to be at, and then um, proceeds to unzip his pants. Okay. Uh, uh, hey, here, please. Uh, first, uh, if, if you'll, uh, I, I want to make sure that you are completely hydrated and that everything is set up and make check your vitals before we do anything. That's uh, it's precautionary. We want to, you asked if we have any worms. I want to make sure that you're not bringing anything on board that could uh, infect the rest of our crew. Uh, what do you need me to do, Doc? Um, if you don't mind, hop up on this, this first bed here. Um, uh, uh, you uh did the the uh the robot um do you have any Bert. medical training Bert oh I'm sorry I did not get everyone's name it's I'm not a name I'm not good with names I I look at numbers and make sure people are doing okay Bert uh do you have any medical experience or uh uh do either of the 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 other t you two certainly don't look like you have any medical experience uh yes actually I was built in a medical facility. Oh, that is fantastic. We could certainly use your help here. Um, maybe this is why you have boarded our ship. Maybe this is what's meant to be. Would you mind, uh, there is an IV on the left-hand side. Would you mind hooking it up into Jacob's arm? And there's also a, a cuff reader on the right-hand side while I uh, start to get some things set up over here as he starts tapping some things on the wall on the big so, screen, medical screen. I walk over. And I mm -hmm. start reading everything about the IV he's wanting me to inject in my friend. Uh -huh. And uh, it does actually say on my character sheet that I have innate knowledge of nanobite healing technology and that I was uh, a bot in a medical facility. I was a communications bot, mind you. I was not a medical bot. <laughs> but Naturally, yes. Uh, I feel like I probably know at least a little bit about this and I know if I'm about to put something bad in my friend's body. <laughs> sure, absolutely. Um, can you roll a presence test? And let me know what you get. Yes. I need you to roll well, Robin. If you know, <laughs> once, there ever was a chance, this is it. <laughs> um, five. Okay. Um, everything looks exactly like it looks like an IV. It looks like you just you're just gonna hook 
stick it into them and you're going to hook it up and it seems like it's okay. It looks like there's things going directly into the wall behind him. Uh, there's some, some big medical devices mounted into the wall with all sorts of weird numbers and beep, 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 beep. The, Yeah, but what's weird... in the IV bag? Uh, it's, co it's connected directly into the wall. Uh, you're going to have to tell me what I'm injecting my friend with before I actually inject him with it. Oh, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. You're not actually injecting him with anything. We're going to do a slight blood sample just to make sure that we can run tests and make sure that there isn't anything odd going on with him. The idea is to draw blood. Yes, yes. My apologies. How much blood? Just, just enough for some testing. You can take it out at any time. I, if we I give look you, If we give Jacob. you extra blood, can you give us some credits? Oh, certainly. <laughs> I mean, do you know? Do you know how badly the the people in the other wing could really use it? We would gladly pay for your blood. Please, if if you'd like to lay down in one of the other beds, there are three more. Um, we can get you and your other friend, and if if your 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 crewmate that's out in the hall would come in, we could have all three of you hooked up. That would be fantastic. I am very iffy about this, and I'm not even getting blood drawn. <laughs> <laughs> well, while you're deciding this, uh, we're going to switch over to Cyrus for just a second. Um, Cyrus, so as soon as the door <laughs> shuts behind them, are you going directly into the other room? Oh, yes. I know it's a terrible idea. I know we don't split the party, but this is horror, so we do it. <laughs> you go in, and there are four people in each bed has, has a different person inside of it. Um, two of them look like they're they're fairly emaciated, um, but they, they ha they're they're breathing. But it looks like they're they're breathing through an apparatus that's hooked to them. Um, you see uh, all sorts of tubes and things hooked up to them. Um, uh, another. Um, looks like there's even more machinery on them um making things pump and move uh and the, so make a uh make an agility test okay i'm theoretically good at these let me use my nerd arcy die because it doesn't <laughs> do me wrong <clears throat> it didn't do me wrong that's 18 plus 4 22. okay you're walking around one of them seems to be in the best shape out of all of them, but they're, they seem to be sleeping soundly. Um, they have less mechanics hooked up to them. The, the room itself is very clean, um, like overly clean. Uh, it smells of iron and rubbing alcohol that lingers in the air. Um, but everything looks like it's all hooked up to things mounted directly in the wall behind them. You do see doors on either side in, in the, the corner. Okay. Um, does it look like they are um, being mutated like the people downstairs were? Or... Make a presence test and let me know what you get. Okay, let's see. Oh, another 18 plus one. 19. Um, it does not look like they're having the same, anything similar to uh, what was going on down there. Um, but uh, you do while you're looking at them trying to see if that's what was going on, you do see it looks like there's fluid going out and fluid coming back in. So it looks oh. like it looks like their blood's coming out and then uh, something's coming back into their system. That is not a great look. Uh, okay. Um, can I can I pull up my social media site and see if anyone's online right now that I can message <laughs> them? <laughs> Yes, um, you can. Go for it. Okay, and sure. What, but, but while you're doing that, uh, we're going to flip back to the other group because it took sure. a little while to, to figure all that out. Um, so we are back in the other group. Uh, was uh, Torture Era getting up on either of the beds? Yeah, I hopped up on a bed, took off my riot helmet, and uh, said, uh, you know, anything you can do about this? And I point towards my missing ear. Oh, goodness. Yes, once we're done with Jacob, we'll see what we can graft onto you. We might, something like that, I would prefer for you to um, have some, some sedative and uh, probably sleep through that surgery. But uh, your friend Bert here seems like they would 
be a great assistant. Um, so, uh, Bert, did you hook did you hook Jacob up all the way? Question: While um, while while Era is um, conversing with this guy, whatever, mm -hmm. do you th think? There might be a quick moment for me to slightly cut the IV tube. Um, yeah, yeah. What are you gonna cut it with? Uh, this might be overkill, but I do have a laser knife. Okay. You are going. You're going. I'm, I'm not trying to sever it. Just to slit just it. So, you know? so stuff like, like yeah. that. Okay. Um. So, so you do that. You spend uh spend one of the battery charges to uh to activate your 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 laser knife, um. And uh, Dave was torch uh was torch getting on the on one of the beds. Oh, absolutely not. Uh, torch. <laughs> uh, I would love to get on there with you and uh you know donate some of my own blood, but you know the sight of needles makes me queasy. We we can certainly have you look the other way. I mean, this is for a fantastic cause, and as you said, you do need credits, right? Yeah, but usually I just shoot people and take their credits. Oh well, and I wink. At you really? Him. What's that? I wink at him and blow him a kiss, a stinky kiss. Goodness, oh, that is something. Um. He goes over and goes, Bert, would you mind uh, connecting your friend, your other friend up uh, so that we can take care of his ear and uh, after we get done with Jacob? Uh, um, you're muted. Your, 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 your audio is not coming through. Sorry, I didn't realize that I had my microphone no in the upward position. Um, yeah, I'll d I will hook them both up, but only if they both consent. Well, okay. Doc... I don't I've know. been talking this whole time. I'm very sorry. Gotcha. Well, well, Doc, I don't know what taking something out of me involves putting something in me, but uh, it's all right. You can do a burp. Oh, well, we nod. just we we just need to uh, run some tests, so the lab work won't take terribly long. Um, but we'll we'll do that, and then we'll be able to take care of and fix any everything up. Um, so he starts running things. Uh, uh, air is hooked up, and as that's starting to happen, you have you have the the IV or the the one tube hooked up to you that you've cut where it's coming out, and so now you have like your own blood that's starting to spill all over the place as it's like coming out of you, and so. Dad, what kind of shop you have here with faulty equipment? As my blood just starts splurting all over the place, like ah. Oh goodness, uh, Bert, do you mind? Do you mind taking care of that? I will. Uh, I will go and get another tube. Oh dear. And I will like start acting the part of the proper robot because clearly that's what he expects out of me. And I will go assist with the blood spurting. Excellent. Thank you so much for it. <laughs> it's um, everywhere. God. I haven't seen this much blood since we we're downstairs. <laughs> 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 and, I mean, of uh, course it wasn't ours that, that was time. Good. And Era's blood is starting to come out of him for some testing. And I'm sending a note to you, Ted, through the chat here. That's just going to you. Okay. Oh, there we go. Secrets, uh, secrets. And as you're over um, with uh, uh, Bert, as you're over with Jacob, you're you're taking the one the one tube out, and all of a sudden, from the ceiling, a new tube drops down. Uh, a length of tube and the doctor comes back into the room and he's like, ah, I arranged it. So new tubing is there fresh for you. Um, I did not see your friend in the hall though, however. So I think, uh, do you mind if I go and track, track them down really quick and see, uh, see if uh, we can get them in here and see if they might want to have some tests run as well. Eh, well, you know, Cyrus is always, socialing that media and whatnot. <laughs> I mean, frankly, I don't know what he really does on that computer. I think they might be like split personalities or something. You're a doctor. You might know. Ah, perhaps I, I think that would give me good cause to, to speak with them further. 
so please excuse me for just a minute. Um, Jacob, once you're hooked back up, we will get everything tested. We'll get things underway. And then uh, I'll make sure that you are well taken care of. And I, door opens and he disappears. I give the nod to Bert like, all right, let's just see where this goes. <laughs> okay. Um, and once you get hooked up and, and uh, so you're, you're okay with the, the blood flowing? Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. We haven't seen um, anybody else in the crew, though. Why isn't there any other crew? You would think he would have called for more crew, right? Like, he's got some kind of military uniform on. I mean, I would have called for backup if people like us showed up on my ship and I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Or if I showed up on their ship and wasn't expecting it. I'm not quite clear on that part. We haven't been aggressive. Um, Did you say we sudden, haven't been aggressive? Yeah. Well, that's true. I didn't shoot his kneecap. I just only alluded to it. You had a good point I call there. that a threat. As you guys are talking, Cyrus, the door opens up behind you, and the doctor comes in. Can oh. I try to hide? Oh, uh, yes, you hear the door open. Roll it. How are you going to hide? Tell me where you're, where you're going and what you're going to do. Under the bed. Okay. Under the bed. Uh, Just immediately under the bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you dive under the bed. Roll an agility test. Jake, or... Uh, Oh, no, I lost take, my a look, die. take a I look at your chat. Floor. Okay, that one's gone now. Nope, here it is. Uh, I found it. Oh, and I found my D6 I was missing. Hey. <laughs> nice. That's where that thing's been. It's like yeah. Christmas up in here. Okay, I got a 14 plus 4 for 18. You like slide under there. I mean, this place is nice and clean, and you just slide right under. Uh, you see the doctor come through, uh, looking uh, that you can see their... You see the, their feet going by underneath. Make a presence test as that's happening. And oh. uh, Carlos, look at your chat uh, oh, that no. I sent just to you and just respond to me in there. I got a five total. <laughs> a five? Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, and Carlos, if you look on the so the right hand, your right hand side of the screen, down near the bottom, it should be almost the, the one that kind of looks like a little speaker or a little chat box thing, chat bubble. If you pop that open, you should see one that's directly from me. There's also a oh. drop down menu. Yep. Got um, it. Uh, they just kind of move on by and then go back out, out the other door. Like they came in the door, what looks would be on our right. They come around and come out the, the door that was closest to the elevator and they just kind of work their way out. Okay. So they did not go into the doors that are like behind there. They did not. Okay. Um, so then I guess I have another question because I want to yes. get a better picture. So sure. are these people, do these people look like they consented to being in this state or do they look like they're strapped down or something? They're not strapped down. Okay. So they either did this willingly or were tricked, which automatically <laughs> pings even more bad things <laughs> in my head. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to get on the media, the social medias while under the bed and see if I can find anybody online to message them. Okay. Um, you're scrolling through, you're seeing lots of your own profile, uh, the, the different personalities that you have, right? Mm -hmm. Um, yep. so, uh, tell me who you ping and, and who, you, who you're talking to. Um, I think I would ping Era. Because out of everyone in the group who is biological, Era seems like the most level-headed. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that Bert, I suspect Bert probably blocked me a long time ago. <laughs> I love Cyrus's response. Everything is like, yo, we got to run a poll. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, Cyrus is our uh, Elon, essentially. <laughs> Oh, Bert is actually going to, or uh, not Bert, I'm sorry. Cyrus is going to uh, try to uh, contact Era. Okay. Um, and Era just be like, do you see this? And attach like pictures and maybe a small video of what they found in this room. Okay. You're pretty close by, so it's easy for the connection to go through for you to send that. Uh, Era, you're starting to get... Uh, messages and pings on whatever if whatever sort of techno tablet device you have as you're laying in bed having uh, uh waiting for the test results 
So I'll look at it and be like, huh? What's the problem? And Don't you think this is hella creepy that it's pulling blood and it looks like it might be replacing it with something else? That's probably all the words I can get out before something else. But yeah, and as you're saying that, the doctor comes in closest to the closer to the bed that that you're at, uh, that Air is at, and goes, uh, "We have some some bad results. Uh, I must say, I'm I'm worried for you. Uh, uh, did, what was your name again?" And they're looking at you at uh, at Era. Uh, uh, I'm Era. Era, okay, sorry. I will document that. Era, when, when doing your blood work, we think that you may have been infected by uh, what, what we call a parasite. Uh, they're small, worm-like creatures. Um, what, what? And he pulls, up, he, he pulls up a tablet and he just, it's a close up of what looks like some, some like cell matter, like looks like a cells. And it's a little tiny, what looks like a tapeworm type of thing wiggling around and moving. This is what was in your blood. Get it out. I most certainly will. We're going to have to, we're going to have to try and do a complete and total full transfusion. This could easily take a day or more. It, it depends. I, I hope... I hope that things work out well. If, if you will just lay back and relax, um, I'm going to have you sign a couple of uh, forms uh, just for to make sure that we are not liable in case something goes wrong. Um, but uh, before it went, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start getting you prepped. I'm going to have some other things fed into you to, to make sure that you are nice and relaxed. And, uh, yeah. and while that's happening, I, I'm going to uh, work with your friend Jacob. Era begins like visibly shaking. And uh, Torch, Bert, Jacob, you all noticed that how how visibly uh, shaken Era is. But the the doctor comes over and walks past have, Torch. Don't don't I have the um that thing that uh, the instructions for removing a worm? You do yes. Have I figured out how to use those yet? I would imagine while other people were doing things for for the past day, you were probably reading that over. Um, so you you have a a fair understanding of of the instructions that you found, whether or not it's the same type of worm, whether it's the same size that's called for in the, the those removal instructions, mm. whether it's legitimate. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Hey Doc, how do we know you didn't put them worms there? Why would I put worms inside of someone? I don't know. The other crazy science cyborg lady was all about experimenting on the on they. I, I'm not really one for experiments. I'm only here to help. I'm, I'm where's the rest people. of your where's the rest of your team, your 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 crew? Well, the captain is up dealing piloting the ship. Um, we have I uh, have two other assistants um, that I'm happy to get if if that would reassure you. They were have, helping the captain try and better understand where we are right now. Because I don't know if this has happened to you before, but we are in uncharted territory. I I don't even know what star system we're in. The world's all fucked, so it doesn't matter where you're at. Yep. There is right yeah. there. Okay. Um, and you, you see them tap something on, on their shoulder that go, um, Jill and, uh, and Ross, please, uh, please join me in med bay two. Yes. Yes. They'll, they'll come and they will, you know, hopefully they'll reassure you that we are a medical facility. Um, now Jacob, what was, what was the issue that you were having? Something with your, your, your pants? We want you to look up his butt. Yeah. <laughs> Good gravy. Okay. I have some and water in there. If you can help pull it out, let me swell. You, you, have, you have what there that needs to be pulled out? Uh, um, I, I, I don't want to talk about a doc, but... Uh, okay. You know, That's he's fair. at that age when you got to get that exam. Ah, gotcha. Okay, let me see. Um, 
You've got the, and we, we've ran the tests on you. Um, how are your arms feeling? I mean, are they feeling tired at all? The circulation like, seemed to be a little bad. I was just, was just wondering, okay. Literally, he's kind of like doing this of his kind of numb, but you know. Can you still uh, squeeze a trigger? Uh, I mean, I suppose, as he's like doing this. <laughs> uh, what's the prognosis, Doc? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, uh, I, Let's see. Let me take a let me take a look. Uh, please, everyone, uh, avert your eyes. Um, I, I, as he says, uh, everyone, don't avert your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you are you doing anything while while he's looking, or um, just just having? I'm just stuff? laying there. I'm just laying there letting yeah. Doc do Doc things. I'm okay. having my uh, Borg BB hate uh, record. So that yeah. uh, so Cyrus can put it on his social media later. Nice, nice, perfect. Um, he he's looking. You don't feel at like uh, you don't feel him doing anything. He's just kind of he's like uh huh, yes. I think I think we're gonna need you to kind of just we're gonna have to fully hydrate you, and then uh, and then uh, I'm very sorry, guys. Can we take a, a two minute break? I just got a message. I gotta run out to the. Take care of something yep. real quick. I'm sorry. Thanks. <laughs> so well, you're gonna be all right, funny. Jacob. Just just reach reach forward there, grab that bed right yeah, out I'm, there, and just hold I'm on. trying. It's gonna be okay, big guy. So there's something that he's done affecting your arms. <sighs> I mean, something's happening, but the idea of like being filled up like a water balloon doesn't really uh, inspire me with confidence. I'll go over to the to the IV that's in you, and I like hold up the line because you rep you replaced it right after you cut it. Yeah, the, and I'm gonna hold up the line, line like I'm trying to look through it to see if I can see any of the worms. <laughs> yeah, it's one. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I don't know. What about you? You see anything? And I, I hold it up. Uh, to our emo bot. Ouch! Sadly Get a not. Gentle torch. <laughs> that is me being gentle. You have met him, right? Hey, maybe uh... hate. You take a look. Maybe you can. You got better eyes than me. Maybe you can see something. Sorry, Sorry about that. Look, just don't make this doctor upset. We need to get this the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah. So. While you so, uh, to know, they started grabbing my arm, looking through the tube, seeing what's happening. I'm like, come on. Gotcha. Um, uh, the doctor, wh while while you're doing that, the doctor's like, I just, I'm going to have to get you fully hydrated. We're going to have to have you rest here, and then we'll have to perform surgery on your backside. Um, we'll be able to get it taken care of. It won't be a problem, but we just need a little bit of time. Um, I'll be back in a few minutes, and uh, perhaps... Uh, Perhaps Jill and Ross will be able to be in while I'm going and consulting with the captain and making sure that we have everything ready. I'm going to have to prep the, uh, the the operation room for you for when you're ready, Jacob. And uh, Era, yours should be simple. We can do this bedside. Hey, while you're at it, can you add some cybernetics to them? That's not really my area of expertise. That's but I will. Okay. Uh... You're a doctor and all, aren't you? <laughs> Who are you I, will try. To I can try. I can see what I can see what I can find. We may have some some interesting parts, but I've never really wanted to play. I don't know. Something about that seems odd. It's like messing, merging the two. It's just I don't know. I've always been one for just taking care of make, making humans more human. Well, whatever gets us, you know, alive longer makes a difference. Well. All right, and Jacob, take care of that I ear of yours. Dream of having a cybernetic butthole. I'll have to wait. <laughs> Cyber. <laughs> uh, and he he <laughs> the door opens and he goes out and the door shuts behind him. Um, what are you all doing while no one is in the room? I want to get onto the social network that mm -hmm. 
I don't really believe it's a real thing. I just believe it's like a two-way communication uh, between Cyrus and everybody else. And Cyrus, are you there, Cyrus? Here, um, uh, emoji, 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 emoji. <laughs> something, something. Cyrus. So Cyrus responds while they're in the middle of designing a pole that was supposed to attract Bert's attention despite the blocking that says, is this nanobot malpractice? Yes, absolutely yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and then uh, see the message, pulls it up. Torch, torch, you are not going to believe this. I think they're draining people's blood and putting something else in there instead. I think they're trying to do that to error. Then pull it out. They said he's got worms. Pull it out. You know, they're probably lying. Oh, I can't hear you, can I? You blocked me. <laughs> you said that, not me, but I'll go with it. Oh, I thought you said that last time. Never mind. Maybe oh, crap. Know. I might have. I believe you. We'll just <laughs> yeah. like, I think you should have blocked Maybe that was off stage, too. I don't know. Yeah. And Wait, Cyrus, you are you still under the bed? Um, yeah, Cyrus is still under the bed and yeah. like whispering because he has no idea if this doctor is going to come back or if these people are going to get up and walk around. So just like this is a safe place while he orients what's going on. What do you think they're putting into them? I don't know. Maybe bugs, probably worms. They're probably trying to turn people into the worms. Like insects are terrible. True. I mean, if we let them put it in error, we'll know what they're putting in them. Did you pull it out yet? Hold on, hold on. Error, you still have that I'm thing sure in, you? that in your life you've heard that before. <laughs> yeah, he's got to get get it, get the worm flushed out. Oh well, Cyrus seems to think he could be. He's putting something else in you, and they might be lying about the worms. I mean, he seemed pretty truthful to, to, to me. He did have. He did show us a video. Maybe if I spam Bert, starts spamming Bert with polls. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't go over and uh, I don't know, buddy. Cyrus, Cyrus seems to think we should probably not have that. Whatever, have them put that stuff in you. Well, then how do we get the worm out? Mm, wasn't Bert reading up on something or watching? A tutorial or something. We could probably have Bert do it. I don't, I don't remember anything about Bert doing doing that. Bert, do you know anything? I mean, I was definitely reading about how to remove worms, yes. Does it but... take a day? Do you, do you, can you check okay. and see if I've got a worm? Well, hold on. Like, And I show you the thing, and I'm like, look, I don't know specifically if this is going to match the kind of worm you got or if you even have one. I will do my best for you, but I don't make any promises. It, it, can, can, no. can Bert like, hold up whatever it is, but it's an image and it looks like the operation game with different worms <laughs> in it? I love <laughs> that. <Yeah>. Subscribed. <laughs> so, I don't think Era would remember this, this aspect, but I mean, like, we were all you know, cleansed yesterday, you know, in, in the process of, of the downstairs portion of the ship. Oh, that's so right. Ted knows that if, if we got a, if I got a worm in me, it's because this dude just gave it to me. But somebody who's not easily distracted and uh, able to remember things might be able to, you know, bring that portion up. And, and so far, you only have fluid going out. You don't have anything coming back into you yet. So it's not you only really have possible. blood samples going out. So it's not really prob probable that I could actually legitimately have a worm. Oh my god, I was like looking down my character sheet and apparently I have a self-destruct mechanism that detonates automatically when I go to negative one HP. And I have to tell yes. you each day if I have it on or off, <laughs> it's on. <laughs> oh, excellent. Good, good. Oh, okay. Thank you. And you're putting <laughs> the thing right in next to me. <laughs> Well, Bert doesn't tell us. Bert just has to tell the GM. <laughs> so how much time do you all wait for the doctor or for the assistants to, to come back? Um, uh, we have taken out all the IVs, right? They're not still in. Yeah, yeah. We've taken them all okay. out. We're kind of yeah. waiting around. 
Guys, this is kind of weird. We've been here a long time and we haven't shot anybody yet. This yeah. rarely ever happens. Can Cyrus kind of sneak back to where everybody else is? Sure. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you you like the door opens, you look out, so, you don't see anybody in the hall, you make it down so to the other room. Actually, good at presence. Uh, Not I. I have a plus two. <laughs> I have plus a one. plus three. Okay. All right. So wow. You've been, you've been the biggest proponent here. Why don't you convince Era? Give me, you know, g give me, give me a, give me your best spiel on a good roll to, to see if you can convince me that I don't actually have a worm. Mm -hmm. Look, buddy, if you got a worm, he definitely put it in you or he's going to put it in you. And you know what? It doesn't matter. We got Bert. Bert has a tutorial. I think we should let Bert do it. I know Bert. I trust Bert. Bert has never even blown up once. And everyone knows Evo and Bots just blow up randomly sometimes. But not Bert. <laughs> Bert is very trustworthy. And you know what? Remember that time me and Bert were talking and we were talking about getting a dog? When we, you know, were fighting those monster dogs. And Bert thought it was a great idea. So Bert's pretty smart. I would let Bert operate on you any day. Alright. So if you're looking to to, to shoot something or blow something up, and let's let's go explore more of this ship and see uh, see what this dock is up to. Yeah, we forget the dock. I'm kind of bored with that guy. You know, let's go talk to the captain. All right. I mean, I'm to the point. I don't even want to waste my bullets. I just want to find an airlock and just like <laughs> <laughs> just end it all. <laughs> uh, so did uh. Me donating blood count as any hit point loss or any of that kind of stuff? Uh, sure. I mean, you you were hooked up for the longest, so let's go ahead and uh, roll a roll a. No, it'll just be one hit point that you, that you're down, because um, it was siphoning off you for a little while. Um, and so who's who's taking the lead? Because these are kind of narrow hallways. These are really like five foot wide hallways. Um, I'll take point. Okay. okay. Uh, so behind. it's going to be. Torch followed by Hello Jacob. Yeah, Jacob. No, no, no. Era. Cyrus or Bert next. Um, am I with them yet? Yeah, you you're with them. Oh, um, yeah. It depends on if Bert wants to take up the rear or not. I'm good either way. <clears throat> I'll take up the rear. Okay. Okay. So um I, Torch, I assume you're going to go out the, the door close, furthest to the right, like the, the opposite direction of where you came from. Yeah. And uh, and start, uh, as you get into the hall, the, the next door there, as you approach it, uh, it's just got a panel on the side. It's got a simple open mechanism. It does not look like it has anything complicated to it. Um, but there is no, you can't see anything through the door itself. Do you go ahead and open that up? Uh, Yeah. And as it opens up, you hear a slow, constant, like, hum, and you can feel the ground underneath of you kind of, it, it almost feels like it, there's constant movement underneath of you. Uh, in the center of the floor itself, it looks like a big glass dome, or, or not dome, but a, a big glass plate in the floor, and you can see liquids moving around, swirling and bubbling, um, as it looks like there, there's piping coming in in the flooring that you can see it's exposed uh, that's coming into this big giant whirlpool that's that's spinning around. It looks like it's coming in and going out to somewhere else. Everyone's got to be a mad scientist. Why is that? Uh, Bert, does any of this look medical to you? Does any of this look medical to me? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, yes, it does, in a way. Um, it looks almost like... It, it, all, it looks almost like a giant, like, kind of a, a giant uh, a centrifuge mm -hmm. where uh, it looks like uh, some, some liquid's coming in and it's separating, almost like uh, if all the blood's coming out, the plasma's being separated, and it looks like a big separation chamber and then it looks like it's coming in and going out into separate separate tubes 
I explain okay. all of that. Uh, okay, so it is medical. So maybe this doctor's legit. Mm. Mm, I don't know. I feel like he can do some shady stuff with medical stuff. Like, who has a whole room full of liquid that you just pump in the people? That seems a little weird. I mean, does he do augments? Because, like, I've gotten about ten of these in a back alley. No, I don't think so. I mean, we asked him about hooking up uh, Jacob's butthole with some cybernetics, and he was like, oh, I don't think that's natural. Blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> wait, you're trying to get Jacob's butthole augmented? <laughs> well, he's already going to do some work there. My, why not? Uh. I mean, what would you even... How would you... You know what? I don't want to know. Never mind. I, I mean, I know exactly how. I just am surprised <laughs> with Jacob. Not bad. Just uh, gonna Biological. Going to give me a cyber colon. Locked, locked, locked. None of you are free from sin. <laughs> As you're saying that, the door on the other end opens up. Oh. A uh, woman in her in her early 30s. Uh, comes out wearing similar medical attire to what the doctor was wearing. And she has a, a three-headed magenta-colored uh, canine uh, with, like, weird, like, like almost cybernetic eyes in each head and these giant teeth on, on a leash coming through. Um, are, are you the ones that I was supposed to come and see in, in the med bay? Uh, it seems that you're up and walking around. Weren't there... Uh, Weren't there some fluids being transfused and preparing for surgery? What oh, are you no, doing I'm sure in the, in the centrifuge? Uh, <laughs> I certainly must not be. There's who else would be wandering around our ship right now? <laughs> Ma'am, is that is that a side beagle? <laughs> it's side beagle. <laughs> this is this is a, this is a this is Cerberus. It is our, our our prized hound. Oh, can I pet? the hound it does not like strangers i mean in all fairness aren't we all stranger than most really well i suppose everybody roll a presence test and let me know what you get sure that tracks 23 <laughs> wow nice seven that's a I, nine so uh... I goofed up. I actually have a presence of three. I forgot we leveled up stats last game and rolled nice. in that 20. That isn't, that isn't eight, but all presence tests are, have their DR reduced by two for me. I okay. am very confused right now because the last time I clicked the button to roll presence, it uh -huh. rolled a D4, and this time it rolled a D20. Ah, uh, oh no, it should have rolled a D20. Um, oh, well, okay, then I... Um, actually didn't roll as poorly as it sounded like I rolled the last time you asked me to, but I'll try to remember that next time. I, 21. Okay. Robin's 21. playing okay. Vast Grim on hard mode. I'm only using <laughs> <laughs> She has one of those D20 there that goes from 1 to 10 twice, you know? <laughs> Bert, Bert and uh, Jacob, you see something like it's almost like you can, for a second you almost see through uh, the, 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 the hound and, and the, uh, the, the, the doctor um, it's like almost like a, a sweet, weird glimmer or a glitch or something. And but there's something, something in the center, something tall, may, maybe like three and a half feet tall and cylindrical that, that doesn't take up nearly as much space. But you, but the, as as soon as you see it, it's gone and it's back to normal. Um, so can I get you all back into the med bay so that we can get you set up? Uh, the captain is repairing some things in the front. We really don't need anybody on the bridge at the moment. Uh, I'm just going to keep walking forward. Nah, Doc, I think I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, let me rephrase that. You are not permitted any further on this vessel. If you come well, any further, I'm going to uh, have to unleash the hound. Well, Doc, let me rephrase. Like my ass, I think you're full of shit as I start. Plop, plop with semi-automatic okay. pistol. Okay, if you're going to go plop, plop, roll a d6 for the group's initiative to see if you're going to go first or if they're going to go first. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Six. 
All right. Well, uh, you guys are going to get to go first. Um, so everybody roll your individual initiative, your uh, agility, uh, d20 plus your agility modifier. Oh, now it wants to roll well for me. Yeah, right. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's your, your agility mod. Yeah, that's, we'll do it that way for now. That's fine. Sorry. Well, I got a six. You got a six. Five. Hold on. I'm still trying to figure this interface out. Sure. Ten. Uh, Ten. Excellent. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. I'm, by the way, I'm just rolling my regular dice. Yeah, feel free. Uh, Dave, did you roll? Yeah, five. It's it's a D6 for initiative, right? Oh, yeah. The, uh, that's what I was going to go back to. Okay. I'm sorry. Go back. Roll a D6 and add your agility. We'll do that over. I got oh, it mixed okay. up for a second. It's been a, a busy week and it's only Tuesday. <laughs> Who wrote this game anyway? <laughs> right it's great neon 90s dystopia punk i love it <laughs> wow. sci-fi i got a seven two i got a five and for bert okay what's the role this time uh d6 plus your agility modifier d6 plus agility okay five excellent okay so um, let's see, Era and uh, Cyrus, you get to decide what you're going to do first. Uh, Cyrus, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? Steven? Um, you can, you can do what you want to do, uh, whatever you think is best. Because I'm kind of, I, I know what I want to do, but what I want to do is weird. <laughs> and, and you you see Jacob pulling a gun as as uh, something's going to go down. You see the teeth on this weird three headed magenta dog starting to like their teeth are starting to like open up. You know that something is coming. Yeah, I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna pull out my gummy stick and I'm gonna bash the dock upside the head. Excellent. Okay, roll to hit. It's going to be a strength test, a d20 plus your strength modifier for anybody watching at home. That is going to be a total of 16. You swing and you somehow clip it. It doesn't feel like you're hitting like exactly where you wanted to, but go ahead and roll the damage. All right, so is this, does the damage add any modifiers? Or is it, just it does not. All right, no. so four. Four. All of a sudden, you, you hit the doctor and something smaller just sails across the room as this like this metal like silo like deactivates the doctor just kind of disappears and this metal canister flies across the room um so uh cyrus what are you going to do um so i wanted to try to interface with the dog cybernetics <laughs> okay and uh basically use it to make friends Okay, so are you going to try and do that over some sort of like Wi-Fi sort of thing? Or are you going to try um, and like hardline into it, like wrangle up to it and hardline in? Um, I know hardline is a better option. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to go like I'm petting it and try to hardline into it. Okay, um, go ahead. And I'm going to make this an agility test to try and get like be able to get to it. Okay. Uh, so I roll a d20? Yep. All D20, right. add well, your agility. D20. That's just to get to the, 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 the dog creature. And then from after that, it'll be uh, something else. Okay, I got an 11 plus 4 for 15. Okay, that does not succeed. You go oh, to try and grab it, and, and you somehow manage to miss. Um, and you hear it. <laughs> weird, like, weird, uh, strange snarling mixed with weird electromechanics. Um, let's see. So now... Uh, I'm going to go from the bottom up this time, then we'll go from the top up next time. Bert, what are you doing? Since all three of you got fives. Um, can I help try to make friends with the dog? <laughs> t t tell me what you're doing. Um, okay. Well, Cyrus, what, like, you're using technology to do this, right? Yes. Uh, walk me through what you're doing, and I will tell you what I'm doing to try to aid you. 
Um, okay, so uh, Cyrus's finger um, yes. illuminates with this like neon pink and green outlined light, and the fingertip just like pulls off into a cord with a USB at the end of it. Cool. cool. And so uh, they're trying to like plug into the dog's USB port because that's universal, right? <laughs> right. Right. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Well, in that case, I, I would like to move closer to the dog and just assist with the plugging in of things because I'm not a person and there's machinery all over the place, so I shouldn't set it off. Right. Okay. Well, uh, with that, uh, make an agility test to see if you can kind of corral the, the, the dog beast into uh, Cyrus's area. Oh, this is going to be fun. So it's going to... Yeah. <laughs> 19! <laughs> so somehow, like... Just as you go to miss Cyrus, um, Bert pushes the dog and you plug in. Um, make a toughness test. Toughness, okay. And plus one in that too. Another 11, plus one, 12. 11, 12, okay. Um, you like feel a little bit of shock back and you can, you can sense like, because you're so in tune with this technology that's part of you, you see, you can feel something encroaching in trying to take over you as you're trying to take over it. Oh, two-way street, huh? Yes. Okay. So this, uh, we'll, next round, now that you're in, we'll see what happens. Um, let's see. Okay. So, uh, Jacob, what's Jacob doing? Pop, pop. <laughs> Roll to hit. Uh, it's going to be a presence test. It's a aimed weapon. Uh, no. You do I'm a fumble. Sure, I'm pretty sure two doesn't hit. <laughs> no, two does not hit. Nope, nope. Um, and what about Torch, Dave? Uh, well, Torch has been dying to use his double-sided bang stick all night. Uh, that is, ooh, that's pretty good. That's a, that is a 16 plus three. So 19 to hit. Roll the damage. All right. All right, shotgun slug for seven. Okay, um, uh, let's see. Cyrus, make an agility test. Okay. Uh, natural 20 plus Excellent. four, 24. Okay. You know, you're plugged into this thing that all of a sudden is taking seven points of damage as Torch shotguns into it. And as the, the shotgun shell hits this dog beast, all of a sudden the dog just goes away. And it looks like um, it's almost like if you think of a balloon canister, like one of those big metal tubes that you would use to fill up, fill up like helium balloons. Yeah. It's got all sorts of weird like engravings all around it, different arms and different different sections of it. Uh, kind of like when you think of like R2 that with his arm that comes out, there's all these different mechanical pieces. But these, it was just a cylinder on a rolling base projecting this dog creature that was just destroyed by torch. And oh, was uh, the, the assistant different than the No, that was the same thing as I said the like metal canister flew across the room and the the assistant disappeared. Okay. That's that was that was supposed to be the same ah, thing. Sorry if I gotcha. didn't explain that well. Uh, so, but in the middle of like a one round, it might have just been like out of the corner of your eye that you didn't really put it together until you see see this in front of you laying in pieces. Era might not pick up on this, but somebody else might. Uh, based off of the interaction of this, of this, did anyone physically interact with the doctor? Okay. Nope. Mm. The doctor did not touch anyone. The doctor did not touch anything in the room. <clears throat> Damn. Ooh, my microphone. Difference. What am I doing? Finger on nose means not it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Well, uh, can I figure out what was trying to invade my system with this canister? Um, it is pretty fried right now. You're going to have to do uh, some repair work on it. You could. Uh, you have wireless stuff though on you, correct? Uh huh. Okay. Um. Roll a d20 for me. Okay. Uh, six. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Um, all of a sudden, everybody that has like wireless devices like techno tablets and things like that, you see them just kind of light up and then they just kind of and go out, but they're, they're still functioning. But you see, it's like, it's like, it's like every now and again, you see like a phone that like, it's like it powered on for a second or like you got a message, but there's no, nothing really there. And then it went away. Huh. Uh, hmm. Hey, Era. Mm -hmm. You remember yesterday with the signal boost and I made everything glow if it was like a tribute? Um, no, my hammer glows. I can do it again, I think. Well, um, that was for that was for multiple days. Didn't you roll that it was good glowing? For yeah, like it was for days? four like, days. I don't know if this place is here, like was here for that. Ah, uh, gotcha. Fair enough. So I'm going to go ahead and try to reactivate that. Okay. Make a presence test, spend a neuromancy point, and okay. let me know what you get with the presence test. Um, where are my neuromancy points located? Uh, I think there's further down. I think you had four, if I remembered correctly. If you, um, if you pop Oh, yeah, yeah. Your, okay. There and I don't know if you know this, but in here, uh, in roll on your character sheet on the left hand side, there's a little tiny menu that if you click on that, it pops out and it's like a table of contents. Okay. Uh, and tribute neuromancy points is going to be right above tributes since it, that's what it relates to. Okay. Oh, there's the dice. I found the dice. Excellent. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I will. You know what? I'm going to roll one of the dice on here because I think that's interesting. So uh, I'm rolling a d20, right? For a present Yes. Mm-hmm. Plus My any presence, presence modifier. Plus one. I clicked it. Did it roll or no? No, it did not. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, and so 15 uh, total. Okay. Uh, so you activate your tribute, you spend a neuromancy point. All of a sudden, any tributes that anyone has on them are starting to glow. Torch, I believe you have a couple on you that are starting to glow, three that are starting to glow. So, uh, Torch is lit up like a Christmas tree right now. Um, not. Like a torch? <laughs> oh, damn. That's exactly what I was thinking. Thank you. Robin, you got there before I could. Good job. Thank you. Too slow. Um, so, but there's nothing else in this general vicinity that you see that's lit up. The, the okay. centrifuge is still whirling. There's still stuff moving around. The, the bits and pieces of those, like, those towers um, are not glowing. But okay. you can easily, like pull one with you or take one with you or take one back with you, depending on where you're going. Okay. Um, sure. I'll take one with me. Okay. Um, so, uh, who's first for more cylindrical fun? What do you think's in there? I don't I know. I look but... at the, the liquid moving. Definitely iron and plasma. I'm going to put that inside of me. Oh, no, no, no. As you're looking at it, now that you're looking at it like more closely and you've, you've established, established that, um, you can see that certain things are definitely flowing in the direction of the ship that you're heading, um, whereas uh, where uh, other parts are flowing back uh, towards the med bay. Oh. This is giving me a really bad feeling. It could be worse. You could be in one of those beds. Or there could be bugs. You know, bugs are terrible. Bugs are worms, in case you didn't know. Yeah, worms suck. Yeah. Um, kind of bummed that that wasn't really a dog. I know, right? <laughs> like, I really thought that she had a side beagle for a minute. I've always wanted to pet a side beagle. You know, I actually for a moment thought about not shooting everyone in this ship, part of the ship. But uh -huh. now that they played that trick on us with the dog, I'm going to totally shoot everyone in the side of the ship. Oh, <laughs> man, that took a lot for you to even get to where you weren't going to shoot them. I'm I'm impressed with you. That's, that's some character uh, growth right there. I, I mean, honestly, they can only push you so far. I feel uh, like... I was right all along to always just want to shoot people because I didn't shoot them. And 
And look at the look at the uh, look at the emotional hostage they held us. Yeah, for sure. But hey, I mean, you don't shoot us. Well, I like you a holes. <laughs> well, thanks. We like you a hole too. I don't think that Bert has an a hole. Well, he almost had a cybernetic one. It was going to be a magnificent. <laughs> Magnificent, maybe. Magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> You're on fire uh, tonight, Robin. I, I mean, I knew this game was supposed to be punishing, but come on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you have to deal with us, Brian. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm happy to deal with you guys. Fabulous. <laughs> um, so are, are you staying in the centrifuge area? I, I think we're going to continue on looking for the captain, right? Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, we've already decided that we're killing everybody now. Uh, oh yeah, yes. we're murder hunter. <laughs> so as Indian you continue down, as you may be able to see on, on the the screen, uh, the the corridor opens up. It's very clean and sterile in here as well, except in here there are gouges in the wall from floor to ceiling. They look like they are in rows of four. Um, much like what was in the elevator, except not nearly as wide across. These are thinner. These are more like, almost like finger size. Um, just kind of dra drug, long, long stints, almost as though something like you can look and you can see it going almost as far down the hall as you can tell. It's like something dragged all the way down, walking down, digging into the wall. And then again, higher up. And then again, higher up. I think oh. things are about to get interesting. But look how the scratch marks go. Like, do you think something didn't want to go this way and it was dragged into it? Mm. That makes sense. Why was it dragged up? I don't know. I mean, maybe if something walks on ceilings or walls. So we might want to keep our eyes peeled at the ceilings. I will tilt my head back and just look up as we're going, and I will just be constantly <laughs> doing that and trusting you guys not to let me walk into anything. Excellent. Cyrus will keep you from rock walking into anything. Good. I unblock you on social media. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is all I wanted in life! <laughs> Perfect. Torch yeah, is your walk. I've already forgotten that, that, we're, that I was supposed to tell you. So. <laughs> Torch is your walking down the hall. Uh, you see there are doors to your right and left. Do you go into either one? Uh, you know, I guess I kind of do the whole, you know, and then like, you know, have half of us watch one door and the other half of us will open and look into the other door. Okay. Um, uh, top or bottom first? Uh, we'll go top first. Okay. As you open that up, there's no one in this long corridor. If uh, it reminds you in a very similar way to the corridor that you attached your ship to in the previous container, except down this corridor, the, the walls themselves have lots of scorch marks and it smells of some strange electrical fire, but there's vid screens built into the wall every six feet. Oh, so uh, as, you might want to check this out. Huh. You know, maybe they have video of what happened. I know Can I try to tap screens. into it? Yeah. As, as, as a matter of fact, as you start to walk towards it, it's, uh, it has a motion sensor and it pops up and it starts showing you this, uh, this almost commercial, it's almost like a, a, a commercial of a loop of welcome to Doc in the Box. We're a solution. For the end of the universe, we're here to take care of all of your physical ailments, all of your mental ailments. Please be sure to take your time, fill out all the proper pa paperwork, and we will be happy to see you as soon as someone's available. If you need funds, and then it starts going through a list of how how to get to the uh, how to get to the med bays, and there's like pictures of forests and rivers and oceans in the background, nice soothing, mm -hmm. um, just. Uh, stock footage on loop i want to download the stock footage so that i have something <laughs> comforting on my 
<laughs> uh, video feed instead of all the blood and gore we've been having. Excellent. <laughs> you, you plug in and you're you're able to to download the commercial and and save that to your feed. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess at least they're legit about being a doc in the box. The most evil thing I heard was about the file paperwork. Oh, nah, man. No one's got time way, for that. Did you... Did you ever get that thing out of your butt? Oh, that was a ruse, Cyrus. Oh. It was not. I, I mean, I, I didn't know. Like, we we were we were dealing with that other lady, and I was kind of away from y'all, so I didn't know what happened. There was a lot of shrapnel. There was. <laughs> also, I mean, you do point that gun a lot of places, so who knows. Ricochet is a thing. Yeah. Well, black my butt, nothing little crap. <laughs> so uh, I, I guess you, we'll uh, open the other door, or door, and see what's down that hall. And that is almost uh, identical. Okay. Uh, same, similar scorch marks. Same commercials on loop. These look like at the far end of each one. There is a way to connect to a ship on either side. This looks like it's a connection point. Um, uh, oh. at the far ends. Mm. So there's probably there's far, probably a an airlock. Like as you as you get down to the far end, there's definitely an airlock off of it. So that if you if you pop that thing open, you would be sucked out in the out into the vacuum of space. Oh. Hmm. Uh, hey, bird. Yes. There's two sets of doors up there. And then, like, one at the end of the hall. Like, is this, like, one of those, like, hollow malls that they have sometimes where it's, like, a chain and they all have similar layouts? And if so, like, what do you think is behind those? I mean, your medical history, right? Uh, I, I was made in a medical facility. I was a communications bot. Oh. I, thought you I were know a doctor. enough to be dangerous. Oh, well, I thought you were dangerous anyway. Thank you. You will be the last to burn. <laughs> <laughs> That's Thanks. fantastic. That's probably because most of me is metal and it's not very flammable. I feel that. And Torch, do you keep con do you continue down the, the main corridor? Yeah, we'll repeat the process on the next set of doors. Okay. Um, so as you go to the top of the next door, um, somebody, half the crew's looking at the, uh, half the legion's looking at the other door that is not open behind you. And as you open it up, it smells like there's a distinct odor of glue that's coming out of this room. There's four big canisters going from floor to ceiling up against the wall. And from this distance, there are definitely humanoid people inside of them. They look elongated. It could be the liquid that they're in, but they definitely look much taller than the the humans you're used to. Oh man, I, I guess um, I'll Jacob will stay forward to get a closer look. So you enter in into the room. Yeah. As entering into the room, you're starting to hear beeps and pumping sounds. Uh, it definitely feels like it's coming from uh, around the canisters. There's uh, there's things connected at the top where there's some sort of liquids coming in uh, and things going out, and it's almost like a filtration system. Uh, you see uh, attached to the outside of the person in the first tank a worm probably about this big, a, uh, a crur worm attached to them as they're just kind of in there. Roll a d6 and tell me what you get. Uno. As you're looking at it, oh. their eyes pop open. Oh, it's not I watched really a nice. horror movie earlier today and that was creepier than the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, and 
you see them kind of, they're still floating in the liquid, but they're kind of leaning closer to the tank and just staring at Jacob. Turn back and say, I think we see what we got to see here. <clears throat> and then uh, they're looking like, as, as you say, so you're turning around and going back out? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what about the rest of the Legion? I see one of these if you see in here. <laughs> Um, um, shouldn't we do, do, you, do something about them, Morris? Do you say what's there, or do you just kind of close the door behind you? Oh, I definitely s- explain what I saw. Um, in fire. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm just click, 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 click. I'm way out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, do, we have, no. do we have anything to generate fire? I don't know. Uh, I don't believe I have anything flammable. Huh. I got a wow. frequent fuel card. <laughs> 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 well, let's see. There's a medical facility. That's got to have something. That's I mean... So, I got what? a stogie, but I'm not using that for this. <laughs> <laughs> So you said there, that there's tubes pumping stuff into these canisters? Yes. And there's human, like, very elongated humans in there. And the one, the one that Jacob looked at closely had one of these types of worms, like, attached to their body. Like a big wow. snake-like thing with lots of eyes. Oh. Like a big leech. Just kind of... <laughs> Out of the four canisters that are in there, do they all have worms or just that one? Are you going into? Are you going in to look at them? I'm going to go further into the room. Yeah, I'll go with you. Okay, all four of them have people in there. All four of them have uh, have these worms attached at various parts of their body. Some slightly bigger, some slightly smaller. Uh, Ted, will you roll a d6? Dave, will you roll a d6? Five. Three. Those do not. They're just kind of floating there. They don't seem to realize that you're come, you've come in. But the one on the end that Jacob saw, you can feel their eyes following you as you're going from canister to canister. I want to see if I can, like, disconnect the tubes going in. Uh-huh. So it's not pumping any more stuff in, into that, into those, you know, canisters. Okay. So you're going to get up on it and try and get, like, yeah. unharness it from the top. Okay. Um, Are there any a... valves to shut off the fluids? Or <laughs> that's a good question, Dave. Right. <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> plumbing, <laughs> plumbing 101? <laughs> yeah, is there like a nice T valve there? You know, we can just like. Um, it, uh, it looks like there's something that might be you might be able to close it off there. Make a uh, presence test to see if you're able to do that, and then uh, Ted make a presence test to disable. <sighs> So that is a nine. Um, again, I'm a cockroach. Gotcha. Yep. So that would make it an 11, essentially. Uh-huh. Dave, what'd you get? Uh, let's see. Uh, that's a... Uh, that's an 18. Okay. Dave, you, you're able to uh, close it off. You, you can feel like all of a sudden it's like... <laughs> where it was like pumping into this, this one container that stopped, but, uh, air is having a hard time actually getting it off of the, getting the, the, the tube off of it, but nothing is pumping in there, but it's not disconnected right now. Yo buddy, you righty tidy, lefty Lucy, man. With a little more effort, you're able to, to pop it off. And now that big, like, rubber like that big tube that was going in is now disconnected it's closed off a little bit of some sort of liquid just kind of pulls and just drips out a little bit from where you had shut it off um can we see what kind of liquid it is uh sure it is uh looking around it is uh do you have you don't have any science background right no nope. yeah um you can make a check and see if you can figure it out um I so I am technically a lost techno technomaniac. Mm-hmm. 
That sounds, uh, that sounds sciencey and techy to me. It, it, it's very psychotic. techy. It's yeah. <laughs> you can make a test as well if you'd like. All right. What do we? What kind of test do you want? Uh, just do a straight test. I think for this. All right. Uh, oh, that's a nineteen. I like. I like these vast grim dice. Yes. <laughs> that die's not working out for me. That's only a three. Okay. So torch as you're like putting one and five together you're realizing that this is like from the centrifuge area, this is the plasma that was separated from the blood. So there could even be some of Era's plasma in here from what was just pulled from him that was going to feed into these tanks to feed these, uh, these cur or um, these types of worms that were in th then feeding on the people that are in there. I got some things to tell you, Era. Ted, Ted knew that. Era didn't. <laughs> One, they were feeding your blood to the worms. Two, I don't really think you have any worms. Remember we did the <laughs> the other day? Like, that should have killed all the worms. And three... That was yesterday. Shit. Fuck. And three, I've been yanking your chain a little bit. I pull out a little... I pull out one of my devices. I could actually just deworm you with this if I really needed to or wanted to. But I really wanted to see what Bert was going to do with those tutorials. That little guy with all the worms in there and the light glowy nose, that looked completely sick. And I think Bert was going to completely rock it. Um, well, can we get these other other three dealt with and then figure Please. out how we're going to kill these worms? Please stop t t touching the tanks of my crew you hear coming over the intercom that's coming through this room and into the hall where part of the your allegiance lives. Sorry, can't hear you. Uh, I'm going to start. You can hear me. <laughs> you will cease now. Mm, so or I will chop this. off your arms and fill this ship with vermin and bugs and worms leave my crew so can i go to the next thing and start turning the knob that uh you know torch uh, you can <laughs> yep you start you start doing that um uh since you're in the the room is torch doing the same thing yeah I'll assist okay and what uh, about uh jacob cyrus and bert what are you doing um I think we were looking to, see, or I was looking to see in that bottom room, at least. Okay. Just to see yeah. what's in there. Yeah, let's Excellent. have multiple press at the same time. Oh. Hell yes. yeah. You see the same thing. And as you're looking in there, um, one other thing that you notice is that the, the smaller containers on the, the, the wall side, like the corridor side, those look to be, be like the, the crew uh, clothing. Like these, this, these look like they're probably somehow all crew members of this, this starship. Um, and they are all very elongated. Like maybe they came from a planet with where the gravity, uh, where, where they, they are just elongated people, but they are not something that you are familiar with, at least in this universe. So they're, they're all like belters. belters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Yep. Um, and as you're all, and, and where are you, Jacob? Um, in the bottom room. Okay. Um, everybody make a presence test. Okay. Oh wait, I'm gonna do this. Bye. That's a twenty-two. Fire! 16? I can't believe it. Ooh, another natural twenty. Nice. nice. Nine. <laughs> that is a twelve. Four. Okay, so everybody except Bert. All of a sudden, you hear what sounds like a whole bunch of like things moving along the walls, along the floor, coming from the corridor in the direction in which you were here, you were heading towards, as you kind of hear a door open, just like, which is probably the one down at the far end, but you're in the other room and you hear over the intercom, they are coming for you. And if they don't get you, do not worry. I will, you will feed my children. You will feed them. Now, we're only doing a two-hour stream, right? Correct. 
since we're like seven minutes away from that, that's probably a good place to end it, right? <laughs> it sounds like it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So that Jesus. that and we and we had a sex bot show up in the chat just for the end. Oh, perfect! <laughs> Excellent. And Bert makes the eyes emoji. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Well, thanks Excellent. for running, Brian. As always, yeah. And thanks everyone yeah. for playing, everyone for hanging out with us. We're gonna be Thank back you. next week, and we are going to do this again and continue this. Uh, go check out and sign up for the Vast Grim. Um, notification page over on Kickstarter. Uh, and then also, Ted will be back Friday night with another game of Untraditionally Arcane as of right now for the moment. We're still playing d and We'll see what happens um, in the future. Uh, also, I will be hanging out with one of my buddies from TikTok during the, during the day in our live chat so you can come hang out with us as well. So uh, with that, until next time. Stay nerdy. Stay nerdy. Stay nerdy. Stay nerdy. Dude,